So today I'm going to go through a simplified tab that I put together for the movie version of Feeling Bad Blues. I'm going to break the song down into short phrases of three to four bars and then organize them around the chords of the song which are D, G and A. So let's have a look. Here we are on open D. And with some trim. So the intro is just four notes. And slower. One thing to notice here is we're muting the fourth string to play the fifth. And if we don't, just a bit messy. This right hand muting comes up all the time in this track. Another thing to notice is the first, second and third strings are all muted as well. So, that's the introduction. First phrase sounds like this. The right hand here is muting the second and third string with the first and second finger, which reveals the octaves. So we're sliding from four to seven. Vibrato, then the thumb playing the root. You can use quite a light touch here on the second part of the phrase. Muting between the second and third finger there. So again. So it's mostly the right hand muting here that might need just a little practice. For the second phrase we go straight to 4-7 without the upbeat. So similar to the first phrase really without that D. Again, slowly. Add some vibrato there. So one more time. So again here we're isolating the octaves by muting the uh, B and G strings with the first and second finger. Coming out of the second phrase. So depending on your action there you can expect some clatter coming down to those lower strings. Here's the phrase. So the challenge here is to get the slide even across all the strings when you uh, slide up to the five. Because that is the melody there on the B string. And if you're concentrating too much on the lower strings, then sometimes the slide will come up and you'll lose contact. So keeping the slide even so as to catch the second string is what you have to remember here. Coming out of that first phrase is a nice little turnaround. And 
and slower. Now I'm counting this whole track in 6-8. So those first two notes will come on the 6. So it's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. But apart from that little bit of counting, it's uh, fairly straightforward. Into the second phrase. So again, we're just trying to keep that slide vertical with gentle pressure across all the strings. And when we're playing this part, we're muting. Trying to play those lower strings without too much string noise. And again. So with the last few notes. So because I've got the fourth string, the third string, and the first string all muted, it's leaving the B string open. So I'm able to hammer on. If not, if I take them off. I'm going to get this, which isn't quite the right sound. So this is another time where right hand muting really isolates the melody. So coming out of that second phrase is another straightforward turnaround. And again. And slower. That's all there is to it. The first A section starts like this. And then. from the 4 to the 7 back to the 2 to the second string but we're muting that first string if not muting between the 3rd and 4th finger here so again Not muting anything there, just going down to the root on bar 31. So coming off that low D. And slower. to play this section cleanly and on the record bar 31 is slide we're getting down there to the fifth string was just a bit tough so I opted to use my finger you can see what works best for you so continuing into that next section So 
So playing this section, we're muting the second and third string with the first and second finger again, and sliding up to 12. So as soon as you get to 12, you're playing the fourth string with your thumb. And then the octaves with your thumb. Vibrato. Then a mute here. Slower. Your own vibrato style will have quite an impact on the sound here, so that'll be something to experiment with. Coming out of that second D section. So that part there reminds me a little of Paris, Texas. Just a little. But the thing here when we're playing this part, we try and play it quite softly because we need to lift off to go and play the melody. So the bottom strings won't be ringing. Uh, I tend to play this bit quite quietly. More right hand muting here. So again, picking out the octaves again here with the thumb. So we're on the home straight here. So for the next part here on bar 49, the bass comes in earlier than you expect. It comes in on the fourth beat. So if I count it, one, two, three, four, five, six, one, two, three, four, five, six. And more slowly. And then the outro. So that's it, we're at the end, and let's play through that last section one more time. In fact, it's better to play with the third finger here, I always forget to, but from here... Otherwise it's... That's it, good luck!